welcome back so in this session we are going to implement the put method so put method is used to update an existing resource okay so we know that we've got these three products in our uh, products endpoints so when we hit get with against slash products we get a list of products now let's say I want to update this uh, product with the ID 2 to let's say from TV to speakers okay I don't want to add a new product I want to update an existing product so how do I do that well for that we have to use the put method okay so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to use the put method I'm going to update a specific product ID right a specific product that is a specific ID so it's going to be product slash product slash two okay and I'm going to add let's say product name is going to be speakers I'm going to replace TV with speakers okay and when I send this I get the same product back so the product with product ID 2 has been updated from TV to speakers and we can confirm that when we go to get okay and when we hit this now the TV has been replaced with speakers right and um, this also means that we should not be able to update a product ID that does not exist okay so right now we don't have a product with a product ID 4 and if I were to update it it should fail so it gives me a 404 with product not found okay not only that uh, it should also if you are updating an existing product with a valid product ID it should also uh, adhere to the validation uh, logic that we implemented for post method for example right for product name okay so when I do this it results in 500 okay uh, so let's see how we can do that all right so let's get back to VS code and in fact I've added the code here so you can see that I have e put methods it's uh, against product ID because we'll be updating a product that is specific ID so I've got colon here and then I've got my handler function here and inside this uh, inside this now it, it's very simple in fact it's it's going to be a little bit of uh, copy paste from the other methods so we need to first of all find out that the product ID a product with the product ID actually exists so we need to make sure that the product ID is present right in fact we had some logic for that in get right so we were looping through these products and then a specific product which is a map and then in there we were comparing uh, the product ID with the product key in that particular iteration and then when we found it we actually would return it if we didn't find it if we didn't find it then we would just return a 404 right so that's exactly what we're doing here so it's the same logic there's just a little bit of difference that I have actually uh, taken this portion out which was inside this for loop here because I'll be needing a PID later on and here it was scoped to this outer for loop so anything outside for loop would not be able to use this and in fact let me just uh, do it here as well so if I just take this out right now okay and if I put it here that's still just fine okay that will work as well okay so that's that and uh, at this point if I don't find a product I'll return a 404 but uh, so the product is there if I get to this point the product is there so now I have to validate the request body okay so the same code that we had here for the post method so all everything from this point to all the way here okay it's going to be the same so the request body which is of type body I've, I've got my body struct here uh, and then I've got my validator here which is the same as the product validator I'm binding this to request body so it's getting populated with values I'm validating the request body and it's getting validated if there's a problem it's gonna return an error or 500 as, as we just saw okay and when I get to this point so request body is valid the product exists and now I want to update the product okay the existing product with the new name so my existing product was uh, 
PID. So you know that product is actually a map, right? It's a map. So to find out, uh, to get the value of the product, that's at the PID. I, I can use this notation here, so the square bracket, bracket notation, and I'm going to replace it with request body dot name. Okay. And uh, having done this now, so my product has been updated, and then I just return this product. And th that's all. That's all the logic here for put method. I know there's a little bit of duplication here. I mean, I think uh, we'll, we'll need to attend to that. So for example, uh, we are copying pasting the code here and some of the code is actually common and can be abstracted out in a separate place. For example, this body struct. And as we move on, we'll actually start tackling all those things. But for now, we have a working example for put method, right? And we just made some changes to get method as well. So let's just check it out, okay? So, save and uh, access. So if I access uh, get method now, I get all these uh, products. And if I want a specific product, I can get it too. Okay, so my get method after changes is working just fine. All right. So in the next session now, we'll understand the delete method, which is also an easier one. So I'll see you in the next session then. See you.